What's up guys, it's Vince from Vince's After Effects How To's and uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to do this scoop around the, or rings around the scoop effect in uh, Baker's new edit, uh, Vicious, or not new, it's not new, but uh, see like this little uh, ring thing around it and I was looking in the comments and I was like, could you please do a tutorial up, can you please put a tutorial up for the effect at 20, so yeah here it is so uh... what you want to do is start out with your clip make sure your clip is uh... twixtered and uh... and uh... mine is so it's right here hold on I'll make sure where it is alright yeah it's right here now what you want to now how you want to twixter this is very very slow point oh one that's what my twixtering value is and it's very slow so Alright, so from there, you want to go to uh, New Solid, right click, New Solid. Now, you want to make this like at least 500. Actually, I'm going to make mine like 750. Because it, it, you, you'll see in a second why I want that so big. <clears throat> so now go to Mode and go to Add. So what this does, it just makes it invisible. Now you want to line this circle with these little dashes around it up up on your scope. Now what this does, I'm just lining up the circle that we're going to be putting around the scope. So now what we're doing is go to mode and go back to normal. Alright, so from there, we're going to go double click on the ellipse tool. and It should make a circle. Now with this circle, you want to hit click on your solid. Now hit S and it should bring up your scale thing and you just want to scale this down a little bit so it's like a little bit bigger than your scope alright so that looks good alright so now what you want to do is go to your effect you could do it this way effect generate and stroke okay so your stroke is up and what you want to do is make it any color you want doesn't really matter and I'm gonna make my neon green just for Baker and uh, just so you guys know I didn't watch any tutorials on how to do this this is all just thought I was just thinking of how to do it so uh, actually what I'm what I'm doing here is uh see how like if you if I zoom in on this you can see like there's like this little line thing you can kinda see it right there what I'm gonna do is double click on this and just move these in a little bit like that and move all four in just a little bit like that just so they don't get uh cut off like the other ones did so I'm just gonna move this in a little bit alright so that looks good so go back to your alright see now it's like perfect move this up a little bit alright that's good whatever alright so it's like that so now you wanna click on your solid Go to your paint style and go, it should say on original, put it on transparent. So now you get this little ring. Okay, so from here, what you want to do is make it a 3D layer. So down, go down your toggle and switches modes and see this little bot like cube. Make sure that's clicked and it should make a 3D layer. <coughs> so uh, from now, from now, you want to go to your, go to the blue one it should say Z and you just drag it up your screen like that and it should look like it's going down the scope and that's kinda of the effect you kinda of want alright so this part is kinda of confusing so you wanna follow me um, <clears throat> you wanna go to your effects stroke and now go to your it should say end uh, keyframe this and put it to zero okay so now I'm at about six and a half seconds and I'm gonna go to about eight. Okay. Now what I'm doing here is I'm just I'm just making it so that it, it like it um it like outline or like draws itself kind of. Like here you can see. Like draws itself. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'll let it let it re render. Um Okay, so see how it starts out right there. We don't want that. We want it against the scope. So we are going to make sure black solid 5 is uh, 
clicked. Now you want to hit R. This is the uh, three. This is the rotating thing. And now you want to rotate this over so it's touching the scoop, like barely touching the scoop. All right. All right. Perfect. So now what it's going to look like is we are going looking like it's coming out of the scoop, but as you can see, it's going on top of the scoop. So now what we have to find is where where this touches the scoop, the percentage of like the end, this the end. You you kind of know what I mean. See how it says end and it says the percent percent. So what we're gonna do is keyframe through this and see how it touches right there. I mean that's a little sloppy. You can you guys can do better than that. But uh, this is just a tutorial. Um, you see how it touches right there. That's where we want it to end. So it's right there. Like I didn't do this real well. I mean, it actually can go on top of the scoop a little bit. It gives it a little better effect. And uh, what we're gonna do now is, all right. See how it says the percentage of where from here to here. That's 63.9 percent. So what we're gonna do is this is on 100 percent. So what we're gonna do is change that to 63.9 percent. <clears throat> all right. Now we're gonna click that. So from here to here. So from here, from here to here, it'll be from zero to sixty-three point nine percent. So as you can see, it's right there. All right, so that is it. All right, so all right, so if you guys want to add two, like uh, what's his name and Baker's did, all you have to do is Control Shift D, or you can just duplicate it. And what that does, it just makes two, obviously. And you can just drag this out. It's still a 3D layer, so but you have to re uh, do the effect or the uh, effect uh, keyframing because it's not going to be perfect. Because if I do it to about there, actually, I think that works out. Yeah, it works out pretty well actually. So it kind of gives you the effect, but I mean you can be creative with this and uh, do it to your liking. Um, you can set this up to twenty actually. I don't know if that's gonna screw it up at all. No, it's not. You can set that up to twenty, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, what's his name's video? Um, uh, Baker's video. He has like this uh, shining effect on it. Actually, you can turn on your opacity to about 45%. That gives it that, uh, that like, see-through effect, kind of. And you can do that to both. That looks really nice. And, um, what I was saying about Baker, he, uh, did a, uh, did an effect where, uh, it's, like, shiny right about here. So, what you want to do is make an adjustment layer, like this, and, uh, Actually, I can go through this with you guys. Uh, magic bullet looks, or whatever. Like if you uh, do it manually without magic bullet looks, um, all you have to do is uh, all you have to do is add a uh, shiny, like uh, glossy kind of effect, uh, color correction, and it makes it those uh, rings shine. So uh, we'll just edit some of our settings to make those rings shine. Uh, maybe let's try diffusion. Maybe that will give the shiny effect, kind of. Not really, but you guys know what I mean. You gotta, you gotta be creative with this. Um, I'm still, uh, I'm still trying to figure out like the best uh, color correction for this to make them all sh to make them shiny. Or you could do this. You could go on each of them. And just add an optical flare and just put it on top right there. That's probably the easiest way to do it. So, uh, thanks guys for watching, and this is my tutorial on how to do uh, the rings around the scope effect. So, thanks guys for watching, and uh, please subscribe.